Welcome back to Triple R. We have a G.I. Joe classified barbecue. Gabriel Barbecue Kelly here. Got this from Ross during that crazy Ross rush of uh, cool G.I. Joes for $5.99. So grabbed him. So it's in the, uh, what do you call it, the non-plastic kind of box, I guess. Or there's no window. Just some cool art. I do like the art, actually. And you can see the action figure down there. I think there's anything wrong with that. Um, of course, the bubble is better overall because you see the actual action figure. So, because you, you do never know, right? So, we got that here. It's number 58. Some more art on the side. And you're like, yeah, hey, we all seen the box. Open it up. Right, gotcha. You can see the box anywhere. Uh, okay, let's see. What's the best way to open these? <clears throat> the top, maybe. Mm, maybe from the bottom. I'm thinking probably from the bottom. Okay, so you open these from the bottom, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm very not a big fan of like this <laughs> how that looks, but X figure so far looks okay. I guess his gear is in here. Probably wrapped up much like the Dungeon and Dragons action figures. Other stuff wrapped up. So I guess he saves some plastic and wasted lots of paper, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, what do we got here? The G.I. Joe and Cobra design on this very cheap packaging. It's a little crate. It's a little code on there. Oh, that's a nice touch, to be honest. I mean, at least he did something. I think the Dungeon Dragon ones are just uh, a brown box. So you have this little code. He has to open his chest to get his gear out. Uh, we got like a warranty or something. So, all right, I'll read this whole thing. No, no one, no one reads that. Okay. Uh, I don't break anything. It's tied. Seen better days. I like twine rope. It'd be a little ridiculous. Well, came out kind of easy overall. Let's check them out. It's good weight, as most of these guys have a good weight to them. Um, Guess we all go through the articulation. He has elbows. Oh man, that joint feels kind of weak, actually. Uh, he tilted over. I don't know. This build quality, maybe not be as good as some of the other ones, maybe. I don't know. This foot's all jacked up. What's wrong with your foot? Pigeon toed barbecue. I'm not a fan of ankle rockers. Just give me a flat-footed character that I can stand up easily. Okay. Just put them up. Let's get some of this mess out of here. Got like his, I guess his oxygen tank. Some gear there. Holster pouch. Let's see what he comes with. Alright. 
this is gear. We have this like hose. It goes to his tank, I'm sure. Fire axe. Looks pretty cool. Hand fire axe with the uh, spiked knuckles. That's also pretty cool. I almost feel like I should give this to Holga from the D&D set. And he has a silencer on his weapon? No. It's not a, what is that? Some kind of suppressor? I'm not sure what that is on this. I know a glance looks like a silencer. I'm not sure what a fire guy would need on that. But, um, oh. <laughs> I guess it's like a, a water gun? What is this? Someone tell me what this is. He's, he's still a G.I. Joe. He needs a weapon. Can't be, can't be a squirt gun, can it? No, I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> I like the color scheme. Although barbecue, as a kid, was a red character being a fireman, and not a blue character because he fights electrical fires. And again, no card, no profile card. That's such a that's a dumb thing. And I know I'm probably not the first person at all to complain that there's no profile card. Uh, let's see. Well, this hose attaches here. Attach pretty easily. And then it goes around, what, to the back? To his tank, maybe? Okay, yeah, right, right there. Hold your gun. Okay. I should attach this first. Hmm. This is uh, like soft rubber, so it's not being cooperative. Instead of being, I guess a hard piece of plastic may break off. These ends are identical, it looks like. So this is not going in for me. It could just be my character. That is unfortunate though. Let's see. Dance. Very bendy. Alright. <clears throat> Just gotta be a little more careful. There. Well, oh, wait about a second. <laughs> Of course, I can't hold both axes now. I got got the, the squirt gun in. Yep, that's gonna get on my nerves. <laughs> so yeah, hold that in and hold this in. Okay, does work. And it's a cool look for him because it, it says function, so it does look. Pretty cool that way, actually. I was surprised. His head moves. I'm not sure how I feel about the build quality on <laughs> this overall action figure. Um, this thing seems to be having trouble. Kind of just sets in there lightly. Display-wise, he looks cool. I do like the green and blue. As for a fireman, I don't get it, but. Like I said, who knows what he's doing. And these axes are pretty cool. I do like that as well. And for $5.99, it's a great pickup. So if you see this guy at Ross or whatever for $5.99, of course you grab him if you're a G.I. Joe fan. That's, that's a given. Or if you're an action figure fan, you generally should grab him, period. He does look good. Uh, he has a holster for this thing. So let's holster it up. The back. That goes all the way in. That's nice. Looks good. Okay, hands do turn. Axis here. Let's see. This thing does fall off very easily. It's very annoying. I'm sure I could maybe snug it in better. All right, I don't know which axe goes to which, but I don't think it matters. Come on, get in there. Okay, so I got the axes in. Took me a second. I'm always concerned about breaking the fingers. Um, 
They bend back pretty easy and then kind of snap back around to hold the axes. They're in there pretty good. Um, this guy has like, tight shoulders here. I'm not sure why he needs two axes. I guess he's a barbarian class fan. What's the dual wield axes? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> they aren't pretty cool looking though. I do like a little details on like the silver and the black looks good. So has a nice sharp edge look. Plus nice with the silver on the mask. So yeah, this is Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. Pretty cool action figure. Uh, thank you guys for checking it out with me. Um, as always, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. All right. Thank you, guys.